Good evening traders, welcome to 200forexpress.com. I am here with a technical analysis of 5th of June 2020. So first of all guys, if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe it so that you can keep on getting the forex trading updates from my side. So guys, today it was a fine day with trading and I am going to start today's discussion right from Euro USD. This is the signals report that I have sent to the subscribers early in the morning. And Euro USD with a bearish expectation from 113492 and 112526 was the target price. And guys, you can see a very good drop on Euro USD already. If you look at here, the market dropped from here. Uh, these are the pending orders and you can set up this and sell stop was the pending order uh, you can set up the sell stop on this pending order and you can see the market straight went into the downward direction however it is little far from the target price so i congratulate all those traders who have taken the sell positions today on uh, uh, euro usd then guys they must be in a very good profit <clears throat> Okay guys, at next we have Great Britain Pound JPY. So uh, so guys, a little bit my PC, uh, my laptop is slow uh, due to the heat up problem. So I'm going to take you towards the Great Britain Pound JPY signals. So guys, if you look at the Great Britain Pound JPY signal, I have supplied the bullish trend from 138650. And guys, you can see that level that, that it was break right from here. And then the market has gone up on Great Britain Pound JPY. If you look at the previous pattern, then the market was making upward. And today, that's why I have turned bullish on Great Britain Pound JPY. So overall, three hours was a chance to take a profit on Great Britain Pound JPY. <clears throat> okay guys at next we have uh, uh, USD JPY I have shown you the signal here that was my signal for Great Britain Pound JPY at next we have Great USD JPY so guys today <clears throat> I have supplied the bullish signal on USD JPY from 109474 However, we have seen that the momentum was uh, quite slow today. It was not as much fast as we as normally we uh, see in our normal days. But overall, it was fine to trade a little bit. I mean, three hours a bullish chance to take a profit. Otherwise, uh, later on, the market went slow on USD JPY. At next, uh, I would like to talk on USD CHF. So guys, let me switch my chart to USD CHF. So guys, uh, USD CHF was going down for many days, but today it was Friday and I thought that market movers will play some action. So that's why intentionally I set up the bullish signal by, by forming the technical analysis and that told me that the market can change its behavior. And luckily the market changed its behavior from 095643, that was my bullish entry. And guys, you can see how sweetly USD CHF has pumped up. If you look at the power of USD CHF, then you can completely see that the market uh, was uh, break that level from here and after that there were a lot of chances to take a buy position on USDCHF. So overall it was a very good uh, good signal to take a profit on USDCHF. Okay guys, uh, <clears throat> what is next? Uh, that is Great Britain Pound USD. So guys, please bear with me because I am setting up my laptop. Uh, I am switching my laptop and that's why I am using the older laptop and it has some kind of a heat up problem. So that's why uh, the video is a little bit slow and uh, the switching is a little bit slow. So uh, if you talk about Great Britain Pound USD, that was the losing trade. And even if you talk about the AUD JPY, it was the losing trade, but rest of the trades have went fine. Those which were triggered at signal the as per as per the signals report. Those which does not trigger, then there was no need to uh, to tra take a trade on these pairs. So guys, you can see here, it is mentioned in the signals report that you can set up the pending orders little above, a little uh, below or above the entry, not right from the entry to be safe. You can use buy stop for bullish signals and sell stop for bearish signals, and 50 pips is a stop loss for all trades. So it is already mentioned in the signals report so overall guys uh, moreover about the newcomers who are just new to the trading channel let me explain about the trading system you can see when the market is into the lower red boundary and if you see that the market is gaining the momentum like it happened on usdchf today then you can buy the pair and whenever you see that the market is into the top red boundary and it's losing the momentum then you can sell the pair and look how usdchf went down and there is a middle dotted line here and when the any candle closes below the middle dotted line then you can sell more and when it closes above like it happened on usdchf today above the blue middle line then you can buy more and this is guys how, how we use the trading system 
Okay, guys, this is all about the today's technical analysis. So, if you are looking to subscribe to my daily forex signal service, if you want to get these trading indicators that we have just discussed, if you want to get the expert advisor, or guys, if you are willing to book your forex trading coaching appointment, for all this, you need to send your in inquiries on info at the rate of 200 forexgroups.com. Please like my video, subscribe my YouTube channel, and share this analysis with other traders. Thank you for watching the video.